Hello friends, this video on separation of substances part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the question is how do we separate? Now there can be many types of mixtures. So you can talk about a mixture of salt and water. You can talk about a mixture of sugar and water. You can talk about a mixture of milk and water. You can talk about uh, a mixture of say uh, rice grains and pebbles you can talk about a mixture of sand and salt so you can think of hell lot of mixtures now since different mixtures consist of different types of components there are different methods of separation for different types of mixtures based on the properties of the components based on what kind of mixture is that now some of the common methods of separation which we will learn here are hand picking threshing winnowing sieving sedimentation, decantation, filtration, evaporation and condensation. So these are the methods that we will focus here. So for each method we will see what kind of uh, substances do they separate and we will also look at the pros and cons of each of these methods. So let's start with hand picking. The name itself defines it, hand picking. So we, we are picking up things with our hand. So removing substances from a mixture with hand. So it is a core manual process and it is going to be time consuming because you, you are given, a, let's say, a, a bowl full of pulses and now you have to pick yeah, the undesirable particles out of them. So you see here the yellow colored things are the undesirable stuff. So every each single undesirable particle needs to be picked up by you so it is definitely going to be time consuming it also being a manual process it is boring and it is a tiring job but hand picking acts as a, a wonderful method when you have when the number of substances which need to be removed is very less because you just cannot do this for hours after hours and days after days so you cannot repeat this for that long right so the advantages of hand picking is that it effectively removes big particles because you are manually removing it so once removed means that you are completely sure that yes i have removed it so it is no more there but the disadvantage is that it can remove big particles but when it comes to small particles let's say if i tell you that uh, let's say uh, some powdery substance some, something like salt ha is there in a mixture and you have to uh, hand pick the particles of salt will you be able to do it no because the particles are extremely tiny so you cannot even locate where those particles are so if the particle size is very small so so hand picking doesn't work so it doesn't work for tiny particles second is being a manual process it is very time consuming so it, it takes a lot of time so it it is helpful only when the particles which you want to separate they are comparatively bigger in size secondly if the particles which you want to separate they are smaller in quantity so that the process doesn't take that long so that's about hand picking so it is one of the very basic processes of separating substances from a mixture thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.